Hi, how are you doing? It's David Connolly here. That's David Connolly from DCRadioNetwork.com, the talk show for web developers, SEO people, web designers, and all sorts of interesting characters. I hope you'll come along. Listen, I've just uh, purchased hosting from a new crowd called Web Faction, and uh, it took me a little bit of time to figure out how to switch my website over to Web Faction. So, just in case there's anyone else, who tries this interesting company out, I thought I'd leave a little video showing you how it all works, okay? So I'm going to take um, one of my existing sites, uh, I think davidconnolly.com, and I'm going to send it over to Web Faction. It shall be a PHP and MySQL website, okay? Um, and that's the vibe. Now, this video will have three distinct stages. There are three stages to doing this. The first stage shall be configure the vibe. That means configure the vibe at Web Faction. We're going to set everything up. It's going to be super easy and cool. The second stage is upload the website. I'll take you through that. It's dead easy. It's going to be cool. And the final stage is point the DNS at the website, at Web Faction. So that's the three stages. Thank you very much. Let's rock and roll. Stage one. Configure the live. So, so I'm going to head over to my web faction thing. My.webfaction.com, okay? And uh, I'm going to click on this tab at the top here that says domains and websites. Now let me just take a moment to explain the vibe here, right? When you go with Web Faction, it's not quite like a normal hosting company. Um, the way it works is they give you this kind of uh, server. I suppose it's a virtual pretend server thing. Sorry if I'm being technical. And the idea is you can add as many domain names, as many websites and all of that stuff as you want, as the thing will handle at this site. Do you know what I mean? And when you uh, add a different website, okay, the way it works is that a folder gets created in your web space and that folder is going to contain each of the websites. So if you have a website called blah 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 dot com, there'll be a, when you log on with FTP and FileZilla and all that, you'll see a folder called blah 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 dot com and that will have that website. If you have another website called blankety blank dot com, You'll log in and right alongside the blah, 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 you'll see another folder that says blank and you blank. Can you handle the vibe? Can you? Can you? Okay. So that's basically what's going on here. So I've clicked on domains, websites, and I have a few sites that I've already added. You can see some of them here. Um, now, you see this sub kind of uh, navigation menu here. It's got domains, applications, and websites. We want to go through that from left to right, and it's super easy. I'm going to start with domains, okay? All right. So uh, I'm just going to click add a new domain. Now, in this case, the site that I'm going to be sending to Web Faction and all of that stuff is... Um, let me just see, it's going to be davidconnolly.com and then I'm going to do a, a new line and then write www.davidconnolly.com and this basically means that the site is going to work regardless of whether or not someone puts the W's in, you know. So that's kind of cool and that's all there is to it. I'm just going to hit save. Okay. Done! Done! As easy as that. So it's now been added to the domains vibe. Now I'm going to click applications in the sub menu. Remember I was saying we work left to right here, okay? And I'm going to click add a new application. And where it says name, I'm going to put in the name of the website, but without any dots, spaces, or weirdness. I'm just going to say David... Connolly, if I can spell my name. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then for this app category, it's going to be a PHP site. Now, the vibe with Web Faction is that you've got all these apps. Look at this. We've got Joomla. We've got uh, Django. I can see Pyramid. There's all sorts going on. But this one 
is going to be PHP. So I'm selecting PHP. It's a PHP site, right? And then in the other drop down, it says app type and check it out. We can choose different versions of PHP. In this instance, I'm going to go with 5.5, you know, that should do the job. Uh, and I think that's us. So I'm going to hit save. Yes, yes, yes. And that is us. We are now officially two thirds of the way through the configuration vibe. Hasn't it been kind of easy so far, right? Just relax, man. It's easy, right? Okay. Now we click on websites. Last of the link things along this menu. Right, okay. I'm going to click add a new website. And then where it says name, I'm going to put David. Is it going to auto complete? Man, it's not even going to auto complete. Okay, well, I'll just say David Connolly anyway. Right, uh, we'll keep all of that as it is. Down here where it's saying domains, I'm going to say David. Are we going to auto complete this time? Come on. Yeah, here we go. DavidConnolly.com and then the one with the W's again. We have some autocomplete vibes rocking. Come on. Am I spelling my name right? Why didn't it autocomplete there? Alright, there we go. And then lastly, choose an application. I'm going to reuse an existing application and it's going to be the one that we just created called David Connolly. All right, thank you very much. That's all looking rather cool. Press save. And there we have it. This is it. Isn't this incredibly exciting? Anyway, that's pretty much it. My connection is rubbish, but there you go. It says the site has been added, blah, 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 blah. Changes may not be immediate, blah, 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 blah. So... That's the configuration realistic vibe sorted. The next stage shall be upload the site. Thank you very much. Stage two, upload the website. All right, welcome to the next stage in this interesting fun pack process. I'm going to upload the site. Now I've got FileZilla open here, just FileZilla, nothing special. You can see over on the right hand side, here are the settings that I have for web faction. Um, you can get them from somewhere, I don't know, the admin panel or something. You'll notice that the web faction site talks about SFTP, it says you can use F SFTP or FTP. Don't worry about it, right? It's no big deal, just use whatever you want, man, both of them work, right? But I'm going to use SFTP just because I'm good and proper. So I'm going to connect to the web faction server. Now look out, because I'm connecting to the server. And here we are, right-hand panel. I am now connected to the Vibe. This is what you'll probably see. And you'll see a folder called Web Apps. Head on in there, right? And look, each of these represents a different website. So I'm going to be doing the David Connolly one. So I'm going to click into the David Connolly folder, right? We have an index HTML here. I'm going to delete this. We don't need this, right? And there we are. Nice empty directory. And I'm just going to grab my stuff. And then drag it across. Same old stuff that you've probably done a million times. And that's me. I'm just uploading the site. I'll close the video off because... If this gets any more exciting, your head may explode, and I know that. I don't want that to happen, so I'll shut the video. By the wonders of technology, I'll see you in the future. Bye. Alright kids, the site has uploaded, behold. But of course, you know, this particular site happens to have a database, a MySQL one. So I'm going to click on the databases tab here. I'm going to click on the sub tab here, like so. Hi -de -he -de -he. And look at this. I have three databases set up uh, for a couple of other sites, a few other sites I'm doing. All we do is we click Add Database. And then we give the database a name. So I'll call this one David Connolly. 
choose the type. I'm going to go with MySQL. Now, you can make new database owners and all that, but I have a website called the Insider Club, and I'm just going to use the same username for that. That's cool. So it means the same username and password will work. The only thing that changes is the actual name of the database. So I'm going to go with that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And look at this. It's creating the database. Dang, dang, dang. And there it is. And if we click here, we go straight into PHP My Admin and look at this. I can see. Uh, <laughs> okay, it's asking me for a username and password, which gets set up previously. I don't know it's the worst tutorial ever. But as soon as you go in, it's PHP My Admin and everything's cool. Yes, it's really easy. So I'm just going to now upload my database on PHP My Admin. I know that you know how to do that. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, okay, cool. Okay, I've uploaded the database, but I forgot to say, when you do this uh, for yourself, don't forget to change the database connection file thing that you've probably got. Um, so I'm going to open mine up here. Uh, yours will probably look different, but here's the vibe. Now this is my uh, kind of offline settings here. I'll move this up a bit. So I'm just going to... Do a little bit of pasting. So the host name would be localhost, even with web faction. The username for me is that. The database is called uh, David Connolly, and the password is is that. And I'm just gonna comment out the old offline one here. So that's the database thing rocking in the free world. I'm just going to save that. Uh, also, you'll have, well, maybe, I don't know, but I, I have a config folder with a base URL. So let me see if I can just open that up. Yep, here it's right here. And we would obviously want to change the base URL and have www.david connelly.com in there that's obviously the offline version so save the config save the database i'm going to upload them via ftp and that shall be the end of phase two thank you very much stage three point the dns and web faction all right so we're almost done and the last vibe is to point the domain name dns at web faction okay um so this will probably involve going into your old hosts panel or your domain registers control panel or something then doing a couple of changes uh, i'm just going to uh, be a real amateur and i'm going to say web faction dns yeah ip address that'll do it's going to do a little google search it's in the user guide that's where it is right so this IP address is the web faction IP address. Can you handle that? I'm just going to copy this and then I'm heading into my old hosting account. Yours will probably look different. This is the old web hosts, okay? They've been all right, but lately they've been a bit slow, you know? So uh, I'm just going to click manage DNS. Your vibe shall look different. I'm changing to the web faction thing uh, the mx records i wonder what they are actually um web og is it on here oh yeah here we go mx7.webfaction.com and uh, i'm going to change that as well okay i'm going to click update dns all right now there's one more vibe that I need to do with this particular thing. I'm going to go to name servers and add in these name servers here. So first, oops, second, third, fourth. We add a little two here. Add a little three. Add a little four update name servers. 
All right, and that's that. Now, nothing seems to have happened. It sometimes takes a while for that to kick in. If you go to Google and do a search for check DNS, then you can quickly jump on, type in your domain name, and see if, actually, that's not the one I want. Uh, I'll do this one. Yeah, so type in your domain name somewhere, hit report, and it'll tell you who has the DNS. It sometimes takes a few hours. They say that it can take up to uh, two days, but normally it's quite quick. So look, already this has changed to web faction, and that's all cool. That's basically it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, if I go to the site, this will actually be the old website. The reason I know is because it's slow. It, it sometimes um, takes a couple of days for the phone company to actually do the changeover. In fact, let me just show you something. I am changing over to a new host. Yeah, that's cool. Please check back later. It's good to sometimes add something like this to the old hosting thing, I think, because I like to know if I'm on the old or the new site. And in this particular case, I don't really care if the site's down in a couple of days or something. So I would recommend adding something like that um, just to be cool, you know. Uh, and that's pretty much it. In a couple of days' time, everything should be fine, all pointing, and it should be working just fine. I'll show you a couple of examples that I uploaded yesterday so you can see the, how, the speed of the thing. So um, if you take, for example, dcradionetwork.com, this is on Web Faction. And that was pretty quick, right? That was all right, don't you think? Uh, you know, it's about... I think it's less than a second. If we try the Insider Club also on Web Faction, uh, here we go. And there you go, it took us straight across. And again, that was pretty quick. Let's try the discussion forums. These pages are, they've got a lot of code going on, going on, going on you know. Am I going to click this one? Yeah, I'm going to click this one here, right? So, can anyone recommend? And look how fast that went. And I know because I wrote the code that there's actually uh, a lot of PHP here. And you can see the pages are loading. Um, the pages are loading pretty quickly. I mean, that's less than a second, you know. I've got some videos here streaming from... Um, <laughs> there's a dodgy haircut. Streaming from uh, Amazon. So it's pretty quick. I'm quite pleased with it. Good luck. I hope this has helped someone. Thanks a lot. Bye.